Hi, welcome everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a content and content data analysis for panel data in Stata. So we'll start with example. So you can see two screens together. So on the right hand side, you will see the codes. So this screen will be stable so that you can read and type in the codes. And I will also delete the extra commands from here so that you have to only focus on the commands that you need to use. So this command start with uh, clearing the screen and then loading a data file. So a data file that I have, since you need to do a panel database contile on contile, so you should have a data of panel data where there is long enough time period so that when the percentiles are being estimated, it should be able to, uh, it should have a slow, big enough subset of data otherwise it will say that data is not big enough okay then in this data file i will open it up you can see the the panel data of it's a quarterly data of some variables so there are several like 45 observation in each country so they are they are not that many but they are sufficient enough to make contiles in a panel data when the the filtering is applied for dependent variable so I will generate the country code and the year code because both of them are string in the my data file. You can see both of them are red. So I will generate their codes and set them as a time series panel data. Now I will generate the percentile positions for the dependent variable and then and then create it, convert it into a decimal position. So one means hundred percentile and and less than one means a smaller percentile position. So this is here. And then I will start it. So in this command, you need to make sure you will have to run from here to here together. It's not, it will not work if you execute one line at a time. So I will explain all of them, then I will execute. First of all, it will uh, clear the any, any, uh, any window where the data is there. So data window will be cleared. It will create a new holding position and in that it will store three things. First is tau position of independent variable, tau value of the dependent variable, coefficient of the regression and store it as holding. What it will do, first of all, it will run a loop from point one and jump by point two each until point one nine. So it is like from five percentile to 95 percentile because I'm multiplying it five later on and then jump from 0.1 to 0.19 you can you can remove this part and then just start from 0 0.05 to 0.95 it will still work 0 0.05 and 0 0.05 here and 0.95 but i needed this because i can use i and j both separately otherwise i have to divide it by five later on so these are this is a two set of loops then i did quietly quietly means it will not show the regression results and then bootstrap quantile regression and then dependent variable independent variable the fixed effect term and then filter for the the uh, dependent variable and then percentile position so from here quantile position uh, this is for the dependent variable and this is for independent variable Okay, and then uh, this is replications. So in this command, make sure that this term is OP. So this is for the percentile position of independent variable and this is percentile position of dependent variable. Then it will store the beta as a scalar and then it will also display so that it, we will see what is the speed and what, how much we have done, then store the data and then we'll draw the graph. So I will highlight this and when I execute. So in this graph, uh, there was some error that it has shown earlier. So what I did, uh, the problem was that here it should be the group of independent variable for that I added two commands, grouping of percentile position for independent variable and divided by 100 so that it should be in decimal places now it will it will work so if you in the data file you can see there are two new variables at the shown so this is the percentile position of independent variable 
dependent variable and it is converted into decimal places and this is in, uh, independent variable and decimal places so when I run this set you will see that it will be estimating for each combination so this is the bootstrap regression so it does take time to find the answer but at the end of each line you will see its position so let's let me see if it can stop somewhere in the middle I will interpret the number and then uh, we will fast forward till the estimation is done to see the end So this this is is the bootstrap process. So each line means one point has been done. For example, this first line was the 0.1 percentile for IV and 0.1 percentile for DV, and then next is 0.1 percentile for uh, DV and 0.2 percentile for the IV. So all the combinations are being estimated. So each each arrow means the next one has been done. So unfortunately it is stopping in at the end. So for example it has stopped here. So you can see it is comparing 0.5 and 0.5 of the IV. So this way it will continue until the, the there are many combinations. Uh, it will start from it will make uh, from 0.5 till 0.95 10 combinations for IV and 10 so 10 into 10 there will be like 100 estimations to be done so it is up till now on the second one so it will take time so I will pause it here and we'll fast forward till the estimation is done so here you see all the codes have been done so it took a lot of time especially in the first set of the data to converge then it took less time to do the rest of the estimates now since it has been done what we'll do we will generate the percentile values by multiplying the the so you, first of all I will show you the data so in the data you have the independent tau values and independent variable tau values and the coefficient values now what we'll do we will generate them generate the two new variables and you will, if you can see it will convert into a percentile 0 to 100 position value now what we will do now you can see that so loop has been there and then now what we will do we will plot a contour plot and you can see it here in this case the results are that for the case of um, so the labels are for the case of um, per low percentiles of so the labels are opposite so this is y axis and this is x axis so percent for the low percentiles of of y there, there is a negative effect of independent variable on the dependent variable and this negative variable is negative value is very negative it's less than minus 40 and for the high percentiles it is between 0 and 20 so here the coefficients the, the, the patterns are uh, so abrupt this is because of the nature of the data and, and if you can look at the excel file you can also see that the patterns are not changing Probably there are minor changes, but it is because of actually the the first case where the, the problem is there. So what we can do that uh, I will replace the labels here and I will apply if a percentile x is above so what will happen it will pick it up from the above so this minus 50 value will be sorted so it means that the the problem in this estimates was that for very low values of x percentiles the coefficients were very big and this is disturbing the rest of the estimates so when I sort this out you can see a better graph so you can see that uh, the, the, there is a for high percentiles of y and low percentiles of x there is a negative effect but for the low percentiles of y and high percentiles of x there is a little or no effect of x on y so this way you can estimate the results so my independent variables was actually the the it theoretically it should have a negative effect so here we can see that how changes in the distribution is changing in the nature of the effect I hope you understand the video you can see the codes here all of them you can 
adopt it for your requirements thank you very much do share your comments about how you uh, how you are able to use it in your studies thank you